Hi to everyone. So I just wanted to show you a little bit about Google Classroom because I realize some people are still a little confused. This part right here is called the stream. And on the stream, that's where we put announcements. So if I post something, you'll see an announcement. If I need to share stuff, that's where you'll see the announcement for it. On there, if someone comments on there, if a student types up something and then press post, um, it does move the announcements down to the bottom kind of like a feed on your page. And when you do that, it gets a little bit harder for people to find stuff. So that's why I do attendance under the classwork section. So on classwork, you'll see all these little sections. There's one, two, three, four, five, six sections right now. The first section is weekly attendance, and this is the one you guys have to do one time every week. So just one time for one week. And then the next week you do it again. The next week, one time again. Okay, so the attendance is right here. You can do either one and it'll still count. Everything for packet number one is right here on the packet number one section and it tells you the dates and the weeks. Okay, so weeks one and two, March 23rd to April 3rd, that was all packet one. So if you did not complete them or pick up those packets from the school before, or already turned them in, then you do need to complete it here online. For packet number two, everything for packet number two is right here. This choice board, if you see, this is just material. This is not an assignment. These are PDFs and a picture that you cannot edit. Here, this is an actual choice board. This is the actual assignment. You'll see view assignment on there, and then it will take you to the assignment, okay? So I only have one person in my classroom right now, and that's my little cousin, and I use his account to help with the videos. So if you see, this little image right here next to something, that's a material. If you see something that has this right here with a little clipboard, that's an assignment, okay? So I'll go up here really fast to show you. Assignments, assignment quiz, they both have that little clipboard image. If it's a question, it has a question mark. If it has that little tab next to it, it's a material. And then these are the topics, okay? And these right here, packet three, two, one, weekly intense, those are the topics. Reading resources. These are not assignments. You'll see that they're materials. Right here, uh, if you wanted to look at websites where you can read stuff for free because the district and Ms. Morales recommend you reading 20 to 30 minutes every day, you can see free websites where they'll let you do that. On the helpful resources page, because all our story, uh, all of our stories are on the HMH website, um, I copied the link right here so it's easier for you guys to find in some directions. So if you needed to log in and you can't find it, which it should be pretty simple, type in HMH Ed into Google and you'll find it. Um, it's also right there. The YouTube link with the YouTube videos for our class in case you ever need help. The YouTube videos are really helpful. They are all right here, okay? And I do add to it when we get new packets. Virtual meetings, so if we were doing video chats or we had a video chat coming up, there's some information, so how to use it, the expectations, how to log in, all that. And then some stuff for our students who are bilingual, okay? On the people section, you see the teachers in there and then the students. So I only have my fake student who's not really my student. And then you guys can find your grades here. So he's missing because obviously he's not my student. So let me see what else I need to show you. The Google Calendar, if you needed to see stuff, your gear events, the class drive folder, if you click here, it'll take you to all of the files or materials for our class and it's loading. Um, but you'll see all of it, okay? And it's unorganized. So the way to organize it is to look through it from here. And then right here you see the Google Classroom calendar. That'll tell you different things like assignments and their due dates. In the stream you see upcoming, view all. Okay, so if you guys have any questions about it, please contact me. Have a nice weekend.